yet another video with the parts washer in it. Let's do 30 days. Hinge. Alright. Oh, this magic moment when my hinge is finally free. Yep. Side's still stuck. Get it moving. Oh. Hey, that's an improvement. So, after soaking some more, I got that one free and this one free. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble it all the way, clean these shafts off because I don't want this to happen again in another 25 years or 30 years or whatever so that's how that comes apart i use scotch bright on this cam to take the spring off put it, i've got the bolts in there from mounting bolts i want to put a screwdriver on both sides and then go forward and up whoops well i made that look easy didn't i except for dropping it and then the last thing is going to take this circlip out We're gonna put this thing back together and you take the cam spring cam it's got a radius portion here with the cutout put that in like so we're gonna lay this out straight what we're trying to do is engage that spring on the square so when it's at 90 degrees it's got less tension on the spring when it's straight, it's pulling the spring. Got a new circlip sitting here. <sighs> Never fails! I just got another. I didn't even go look for that one. Sweeper will get it. Alright, so let's put this last piece on. I'm going to lift this up, get it as close as I can. I've got a uh, pretty heavy duty awl or hole finder. And I'm going to guide it on on that peg hope y'all could see that it's easier when you don't have a camera in your way Here you have it. So we'll put this piece on straight or parallel. Then this cam. wavy washer it's a 13 millimeter door back on it's got to come back off probably a couple more times got some rust I want to fix and I've got to replace this in guide
There's a cutout in the middle of this track that allows you to get that guide in. Oh, it's working. <laughs>